Good evening, Inspire students, families, staff, and community members. Welcome to our 10th annual Senior Awards Night for Inspire School of Arts and Sciences. My name is Becky Brown, and I'm proud to be principal of Inspire. Tonight, we're so proud to celebrate the outstanding achievements of our graduates. We acknowledge their hard work and dedication, and we join their families beaming with pride and maybe claiming just a teeny bit of what they've accomplished. In this time of uncertainty, we remember that like death, taxes, and people who put the toilet paper roll on the wrong way around, only change is certain. When I look at the program tonight, I see something all these amazing students have in common. That is an unshakable core that allows them to be confident in what they believe, to take on new challenges, knowing that success necessitates failure, and a faith that humans working together might just wind up getting it right. That is the thing, lovely seniors, that got you through advisory challenges, sweltering Augusts and poorly air-conditioned portables, and standardized state testing. It's the thing that inspired you to take that class you didn't know you'd love, that pushed you to follow through on something long-term, difficult and complex, because you knew it would be worth it. It's the thing that got you through the campfire and will get you through the pandemic and whatever else life has to test us with next. I am so proud of you for staying grounded and daring to soar at the same time. Congratulations.
The Inspire support team is excited to have chosen five recipients for this year's scholarship awards. We created four categories in which students could apply according to their achievements and passions. Many applicants applied to more than one category and because of the high scholastic achievements in the academics category, we chose two candidates this year. We were overwhelmed with the caliber and dedication of each applicant and with such a talented group, these decisions did not come easy. We were moved by your essays and letters of recommendation, humbled by your ambition to take multiple honors, AP and college courses, and impressed with your dedication to volunteering for various organizations in our community. Inspire Class of 2020, you are a dynamic group of individuals, and it is without doubt you will bring creative energy, a strong work ethic, and insatiable appetite for thinking outside the box to those lucky individuals you encounter in your future. Now, we are happy to announce the recipients of the Inspire Support Team Scholarships for the 2020 school year. For the science category, we congratulate Forrest Fankhauser with a $1,000 scholarship. Forrest exemplifies curiosity, persistence, and a drive in his quest for knowledge, and had an out of this world letter of recommendation from an astronaut. Congratulations, Forrest. For the art category, we congratulate Lexi Eklund with a $1,000 scholarship. Lexi has shown the desire to challenge herself by integrating her musical crafts with classes, clubs, and teachers since she was six years old and is excited to see where it all takes her. We are excited too, congratulations. For the academics category, we congratulate two recipients, Heather Hardy and Danica Leeds, each with a $1,000 scholarship. Both of these young women have proven their grit, determination, and motivation to succeed, as well as their desires to be helpers. We support you and congratulations. And for the pursuit of passion, we congratulate Luciano Castaldo with a $1,000 award. This award was designed to go to a person who demonstrates a tremendous devotion to what they do. From discovering his passion at age five and working hard at mastering it nonstop ever since, we celebrate all you've done and all you have to achieve. Congratulations, Luciano. And congratulations to the Inspire graduates of 2020. We salute you. Hello, Inspire Class of 2020. I'm so pleased to be joining you. My name is Erin Kyle. I'm the second Vice President and Chair of Charity and Scholarships for the Beta Chapter of Omega Nu. Omega Nu is a philanthropic women's group with 12 chapters in California. Beta Chapter of Omega Nu in Chico was founded in 1920, so 2020 is a big year for us too as we celebrate 100 years of giving within our greater local community. We are all volunteer community women who work together to hold events and raise funds to support a variety of local charitable causes each year. Our annual giving includes scholarships to local young women graduating high school and continuing their education. One factor we consider is community service. In 2000, our foundation was established to ensure our scholarship giving in perpetuity. On behalf of Beta Chapter of Omega Nu Foundation, I proudly present a scholarship to Inspire School of Arts and Sciences Class of 2020 graduate, Eleanor Sando. Congratulations, Eleanor, and congratulations to the whole class of 2020. Please know your community celebrates you all. Your ability to adapt and persevere in this global situation demonstrates a strength and determination that will take you far. Best wishes from Beta Chapter of Omega Nu. Good evening. My name is Marcus Hopkins. I'm one of the school counselors at Inspire Schools of Arts and Sciences. So it's my pleasure this afternoon to be able to come and award some scholarships to some of our deserving seniors. The, most of the scholarships that I'll be um, awarding are from CCSA, Chico Community Scholarship Association. Uh, the mission of Chico Community Scholarship Association is to provide scholarship assistance by helping donors establish and award scholarships to deserving graduating seniors in the Chico Unified School District area 
who intend to further their studies at an accredited institution of higher learning. CCSA began 47 years ago, and since that time, 4,546 scholarships, totaling over $3.2 million, have been awarded to high school seniors in our community. This year, 139 students will receive scholarships through Chico Community Scholarship Association for a total of 196000 So the first scholarship I'll be presenting tonight is the CCSA General Scholarship. Uh, the CCSA General Scholarship recognizes outstanding scholarship, citizenship, and community service. Uh, this, this scholarship amount is $750, and our recipient is Caitlin Commandant. The next scholarship I'll be awarding is the Matsum and Isom Technology Consultant Scholarship. Matsum and Isom Technology is one of the North State's leading IT consulting service providers, helping their clients become more successful through the effective use of technology. This scholarship is in an amount of $750, and we have two deserving recipients. The first one is Michaela Billings Alston, and our next winner is Forrest. Thankhauser. The next scholarship I'll be presenting is the Four Foundation Scholarship. The Four Foundation is a private nonprofit based in Chico whose focus is to provide education to the people of California regarding environmental issues. The amount of this scholarship is $1,250, and the award winner for this scholarship is Danica Leeds. The next scholarship I'll be presenting is the Tri-Counties Bank Scholarship. Established in 1975, Tri-Counties Bank is headquartered in Chico, California. A key element of fulfilling the bank's mission is to invest in the community-minded and intellectually gifted students, which will in turn strengthen our communities. The scholarship amount is $2,000, and our award winner tonight is Rebecca Hofer Warden. Our next scholarship is the Pertinacity Personified Prize. Success is not final and failure is not fatal. It is the courage to continue that counts by Winston Churchill. This award goes to a student who exemplifies success through adversity where many others would give up confronted with an accumulation of life challenges. This student persevered and excelled in humble recognition of an abominable spirit, the Pertensity Personified Prize is awarded a $250 scholarship to Ms. Danica Leeds. So everyone that received a scholarship tonight, you should receive something in the mail and it will actually, it will explain to you how to, um, to get your, uh, your scholarship. So now we're going to move on to our, our recognition awards. Um, the first recognition awards that I want to talk about is the Academic Achievement Award. Uh, this award recognizes those students who have achieved who have achieved a 4.0 GPA and above. And the winners are Michaela Billings Alston, Caitlin Commandant, Jacob Collins, Forrest Fankhauser, Heather Hardy. Joanne Hattenkofer, Ava Hilsey, Isabella Intersomane, Danica Leeds, Jay Shrestha, and Taryn Taylor. Our next recognition award is the Chico Rotary Citizenship Award. And this award recognizes outstanding citizenship. And the award winners are Ariana Powell, Jay Shrestha, and our final recognition award is we want to recognize those students who have participated in our uh, Inlow Junior Volunteer Program. And those students are Serena Kuhn and Kylie Denenhart. So I want to take this time to congratulate all our award winners, those who receive scholarships. Um, hope you guys had a good senior year. And now I'd like to announce Inspire's 2020 Valedictorian. 
In America, traditionally, the student who earns the highest grade point average in high school is chosen as valedictorian and is allowed the honor of preparing a goodbye speech to their graduating colleagues. It seems strange to me that somehow the ability to get good grades would automatically assume a fitness for giving a good speech. It doesn't always work that way. That's why I'm so relieved that this year's valedictorian has demonstrated abilities far beyond a GPA. She is one of the most positive, articulate, and charming humans I know. She can take a group of stagehands and organize a team of pool noodle wranglers building a field of corn out of foam rubber in just a few hours. She is a champion oboe, clarinet, and tenor sax player who has knocked it out of the park in orchestra and jazz ensemble since freshman year. She embodies the spirit of Inspire, combining her musical and artistic talents with a passion for engineering and robotics. She once started a cult, that is, the Community Under Literature Together book club, and I'm pretty sure tried to start a movement to take over the world. All this while maintaining a 4.6 grade point average. I don't even know how you do that. I'm becoming more and more certain that Megan Huber is superhuman. I think it's the hat. It gives her superpowers. I wonder if she'll let me borrow it. Congratulations, Megan. We are so proud of you. Hola, saludos. Hello to everybody. Bonjour. Uh, so, Madame uh, Reed or Senora Reed y Senora Cern, we are here to uh, give the award for the Seal of Biliteracy. The California State Seal of Biliteracy is an award given to graduating seniors. Uh, this award became effective uh, January 1st of 2012 and provides recognition to high school students who have demonstrated proficiency in speaking, reading, and writing in one or more languages in addition to English. The Seal of Biliteracy Award celebrates the academic achievements of our high school students and the incredible diversity seen throughout our country and our economy. It emphasizes that learning, is a second, that learning a second language is a critical part of education that allows American students to compete with the world's best and brightest. Uh, when a college or employer sees the seal of biliteracy on a diploma or a resume, they know this is an individual with an important and unique 21st century skill. And lastly, the seal of biliteracy award is a wonderful way to celebrate diversity and multiculturalism and the accomplishments of our students. This year, Inspire is proud to present 17 biliteracy awards achieved in the subjects of French and Spanish. The recipients of this award have worked diligently during the past years to get to where they are now. Both Madame Reed or Senora Reed and I are incredibly happy and proud of their accomplishment, but most importantly, they should be proud of what they have accomplished. And now to give the award, I will leave you with Madame Reed. So the following 17 students will earn a seal on their diploma and also be wearing this medallion during um, their graduation with their caps and gowns. So for Spanish. And I'm sorry to interrupt. They will also receive a certificate. And a certificate. Um, in Spanish, we are awarding the following students. Kylie Denhart. Forrest Fankhauser, Heather Hardy, Gwen Henson, Rebecca Hoffer, Ivan Ikera, Isabella Intersimoni, William Klein, Galen Latham Fairchild, Danica Leeds, Jade Ryan, Jay Sresta, and Kate Sorensen. And felicidades. And for French, Francais, we are awarding Caitlin Commandant, Anna Cummins, Megan Huber, and Natalie O'Neill. Well done. 
Enhorabuena. Well done, you guys. You are well deserved of this. Hi, babies. Welcome to our first ever quarantine awards night. Hey, you know I love you when I put on makeup mid quarantine. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, let's get into these awards. I'm um, awarding some kids for excellence, and those kids in art are Juno Fluger, Liliona Burkett, Julia Wallen, and Caitlin Comida. My excellence in ceramics are Kate Sorensen, Heather Hardy, Max Bromelo, and Owen Barrett. I just want to say that it's been my joy and my honor to watch you guys grow over the course of four years and put your whole heart into your work, into your artistry, into everything that you build. Um, it was very difficult to make this list of just a few kids in all of my classes that really stood out over the four years. Thank you for honoring me with your excellence. All right, you guys don't know this, but this is like take 17. I got this. Here we go. Okay. I want to award the Outstanding Achievement in Ceramics to Jonah Templeton. Here we go. This is why I love you. All right. Jonah Templeton, at first glance, is your typical disengaged teenage boy. I'm pretty sure he glories in his general vibe of indifference. He doesn't appear to mind being underrated and kind of plays it up. In fact, I'm pretty sure I can hear his mom yelling at him right now to come out of his bedroom to watch this award ceremony. Jonah is the kind of kid that nonchalantly shrugs, shrugs his shoulders when I compliment on his huge abstract masterpiece like it's no big deal. When there's a firing accident and a piece of his has been ruined, he declares he didn't want it anyway, but then does a tedious job of fixing the error, grinding down the mistake, and then refiring it back into perfection. Not only does Jonah take risks on his sculptures, but him and his buddy Max have pushed the envelope on glazing techniques. He's always trying something new and documenting his findings for me and other kids to be able to use later. In addition to his hard work on his craft, Jonah has, has made huge, huge artistic strides this year, experimenting with new subject matters and expanding his style. But it is not just his artistry that made him worthy of this award. It is also his thoughtful and generous spirit. Who gives a care Jonah doesn't know it, but I often see him help a struggling student, offering them words of advice when he thinks nobody is watching. This kid volunteers for the hardest and most annoying parts of my job on a regular basis for no other reason than to just help out. Jonah has had me train him on how to load, unload, and fire the kiln and has become the studio's official operator. He is my right hand in the studio, and I can always count on him to help me learn and experiment. This boy who likes to front and play down his greatness has fearless creativity, the heart of a servant, and the curiosity of Timothy the Cat. It is my great pleasure to award Jonah Templeton with the Outstanding Achievement in Ceramics Award. Yay! <laughs> Good job, Jonah. All right. On to the outstanding achievement in art. That goes to Anna Cummins. Anna, Anna, Anna. I say your name several times because being your teacher over the years has been to know and love so many versions of you. I've been able to teach you a wee bit, challenge you here and there, make you cry from time to time, laugh at you a lot, and then sit back and watch you grow with the intensity you might actually expect from a teenage girl that gets up at 4 a.m. to study. She seriously does that. <laughs> freshman Anna almost didn't make the freshman Hunger Games cut of art one. You guys know what I'm talking about. I have to cut so many kids. You were one of the quietest and most timid students I have ever taught. You didn't initially take the class because you were passionate about art, but I remember halfway through the year, you snuck into my room at the start of a lunch talking a mile a minute and almost shaking. You marched right up to me, barely looking me in the eye and declared that art was your future. You thanked me for, for that day's lesson on concept art and then ran away, which leads me to sophomore Anna. Sophomore Anna didn't back down from her, her audacious declaration that she was going to be an artist. In fact, I had to limit you to three questions per period because you were so determined to learn. And then when the fire took your door mural away, you rearranged your entire schedule to be able to design and paint your door independently. And you were, and you went the distance. You didn't give up. 
Which brings us to junior senior Anna, doing two years of classes and an art major all in one year so that you can leave home and move to France. If freshman Anna knew senior Anna would be traveling to France alone and living with strangers, I'm pretty sure she would break down and cry. <laughs> For real, do you remember freshman Anna? <laughs> the strides you have made as an artist are unparalleled. Your growth as a young woman is truly inspirational. You are unstoppable. You don't let your fears break you. You keep making small strides in the direction of your dreams. When you don't have the skills you want, you dig into daily discipline and consistent practice. And so it is with my deepest honor to give the Outstanding of Achievement Award in Art to Anna Cummins. Congratulations, Anna. When I grow up, I want to be you. I love you guys. Happy day. Hello, my name is Jara Miles, and on behalf of Sarah Shoemaker and Deborah Yuritzma, I'm excited to announce this year's Dance Awards. First up, we have Excellence in Dance. Lexi Eklund. She is a solid dancer who loves to move. Whether it's tap or Polynesian, Lexi always works hard to make it right, include others, and perfect the choreography. Matilda Gandolfi. Maddie leapt off a plane and into our hearts. She became a great friend, a great dance partner, a lead ballerina, a role model, and someone who helped us all try to develop into the dancer with that wicked European style. Danica Leeds. She has perseverance, heart, hard work, and a bit of fearlessness. She is also a darn good narrator. I expect her to go and change the entire world's perspective of what a dancer is and can be. Rhea Massey. Rhea has true soul, as any dancer should. She has rhythm and style. She has taught us all how to get our groove on a little bit better, and she will go out there and do whatever it takes to get out, get to get what she wants out of life. Tilly O'Neill. She is kind, enthusiastic, community-oriented, and always willing to do anything that is needed to get done for our program. I know she will keep dancing when she travels to France next year. Taryn Taylor. She was a member of all three dance clubs, part of our Inspired Dance Company, and featured performer in Oklahoma. Taryn shines on stage when the dance music comes on. By the way, I still want to see that ballroom dance. Theodora Oldfield. To dance is to be outside yourself. Larger, more beautiful, more powerful. This is power. It is glory on earth. It is yours for the taking. Agnes DeMille. Over the last four years, Thea has danced beautifully on our Inspire stages. A 42nd Street Tapper, our Moon and Adams family, and our Dream Ballet Lori in Oklahoma. She has also been a key member of our Inspire Dance Company all four years. Thea is an accomplished ballet dancer, but excels at any genre or style of dance. She is a valued member of her local dance company, Dance Evolution, now known as Uptown Dance, and has graced the stages as a guest artist with Chico Community Ballet in productions like The Nutcracker and Cinderella. Thea not only can dance any choreography that comes her way, she can create dances that touch an audience's soul. This was perfectly on stage in her two-part senior project. Her clever college solo was choreographed where she was half ballet dancer, half contemporary dancer. And in her second part, the choreography for the Dream Ballet of Oklahoma. Yes, that was all Thea. It was historically grounded, true to the original story, and integrated contemporary dance styles and techniques. She took beginners through advanced dancers and articulated Oklahoma's Dream Ballet in honor of Agnes DeMille's original vision, which was a teenage girl's dream, or more of a nightmare for what she was struggling with. She was able to take real life experiences hone them in and put them on stage. I am also excited 
for where you are going to go to further your dance education. I hope you will find a career that feeds your soul each and every day. Bend your knees and have attitude. Words to live and dance by. <laughs> Genevieve Musquez. I had to quote her because she's the force that brought us together. We bend our knees to tackle every dance and every life challenge. We have attitude, so we do it with style and a bit of sass. Victoria Knighton, Little Miss Vic, my baby powerhouse from day one. I don't know how you are graduating from high school. It seems like just yesterday that Genevieve turned to me at the studio and said, that little girl can dance. You were four years old and we were creating We Force. I loved working with you then, and I have loved working with you now, and over the last four years that have inspired. Your spirit and passion for dance is inspiring and infectious. Every year you have faced multiple challenges, and I can promise you, they will make you stronger, they will make you smarter and fiercer. You have never let anything other than your spirit fuel you, and you never let anything stop you or melt your smile. You have made CI challenging, educational, and fun for all of our students who love the style. You have kept Inspire's oldest club alive, growing and excelling with style and attitude. As a lead choreographer, you're always the first to jump on a group or team, and everyone loves what you put together. You are not afraid to bring in the newbies and welcome them into the mix. Your and Maddie's friendship this year, both on and off stage, made this year memorable. You were also a very wicked mouse queen for the Nutcracker. No matter what the task was at hand, you enjoyed the process. This is the sign of a true artist. It is the journey you must relish, but you create some pretty amazing results. Thank you for every moment you gave us, Vic. Congratulations, seniors. You made it this far. You're almost there. Well, if you made it in this video, you're the top of the top, the cream of the crop, the best of the best. So here we go. The outstanding and excellent students in the digital media arts program for the 2020 senior class. These students have shown a considerable amount of excellence during their time here at Inspire. Bodie Fluger, William Klein, Julia Wallen, Joanne Hattenkoffer, Anna Cummins, Olivia Steele, Caden Conway, Evelina Owen, Owen Barrett, Michaela Billings Alston, and Nate Lowe. There's your excellent students for the Digital Media Arts program. Whether in our video production program, creating semi-like productions, narrative shorts and documentaries, or in our photography courses, creating landscape photography or studio portraiture or image manipulation, or maybe it was in our graphic design class, creating logos and signs, or in our digital illustration class, drawing video game characters and environments, or maybe it was our animation program, creating music videos or animated shorts. Or maybe they were a leader in the Skills USA program or video club as an integral part of the team. Or they could have been just a leader in the class, always there when you need them, always helping others, inspiring others around them. These students not only created amazing works of art, but they were the backbone of the digital media arts program. Now let's move on to the outstanding students. Well, we have none other than Jade Ryan. Jade Ryan is amazing, and I'll tell you why. Jade is one of our digital media art major students. 
Jade has consistently been a leader in the digital media arts program, spending most of her time with a camera in one hand and a light in the other. Jade's commitment to the visual impact of any piece of creative work that she is tied to will always show in the polished outcome of her creative endeavors. Over the years, I've watched Jade become laser focused on the elements and principles of art within her progression of artwork that can be seen in her diverse portfolio. She has created everything from fashion photography, landscape photography, photorealism, poster designs, t-shirt designs, business logos, documentaries, music videos, narrative shorts, and abstract films. Jade has won many awards for her art as well. She has taken home second place in the county in the category of digital media arts for the BCOE Superintendent's Juried Art Show. Many first place awards in the Silver Dollar Fair as well as most dedicated student at Inspire's video showcase. Jada has also earned a gold and fourth place medal for her digital cinema production narrative films at the 2019 and 2020 Skills USA Regional Championships, as well as an eighth place finish at the 2019 Skills USA State Championship. Jade's positive attitude, as well as her fun and bubbly personality, makes her a very approachable student and peer. Though, when it's time to get to work, Jade knows how to turn it up a notch and make others follow. This is when her leadership skills kick in. I've seen Jade step up the plate over and over throughout her years at Inspire. Whether it be through the Skills USA program, video club, helping coordinate and set up numerous galleries and shows, including the Silver Dollar Fair, the Creative Fusion Show, and our galas. She can take charge of any creative process and make it better. She always helps her team mold their visual concept into a more aesthetically pleasing and detailed version. Jade's dedication to Inspire goes beyond more than most. Through our current environment and last year's campfire tragedy, Jade was confronted with many challenges and has been forced to grow up faster than many. Though she has taken it all in stride and kept her poise, stayed focused and all with a smile on her face and a determined look in her eye. Though Jade is an amazing artist with a creative spark that is very contagious, she is also an amazing young lady who is very respectful, caring, and dependable. As her mentor and teacher, I will most certainly miss Jade in the classroom. Though I'm excited to see what she does in her future, how she continues in the digital art world or whatever art world she's into. Jade, your presence on this campus is inspiring for many. You are a role model and you are loved by all. We are so proud of all the accomplishments you've had this far and we know you are going to have many more in the future. We love you so much and we will miss you. Good luck. When you think of an engineer, you may think of the stereotype of a calculator and pocket protector. Yes, engineering is applied science and requires great facility with math, but it increasingly relies on artistic skills as design becomes a much greater part of an engineer's job requiring an eclectic skill set. This year, we're honoring two students in engineering, demonstrating an inversely proportional relationship between quantity and quality. For excellence in engineering, we honor such a Renaissance woman, Megan Hubert, fabulous in class, a leader in clubs, an important competitor on our robotics team, secretary and notebook organizer extraordinaire, Megan can do it all. We are so honored that Megan devoted so many of her talents to engineering when she could have applied them in so many different directions and did. And if Megan is excellent, who could possibly match her talents and achievements and be considered outstanding in engineering? This year's Outstanding Engineer goes to, of course, Forrest Fankhauser. Forrest doesn't always appreciate being labeled brilliant because we all know that there's a lot of hard work behind that brilliance. Yes, with his fabulous technical and mathematical skills, engineering is a natural fit for Forrest. But Forrest also works diligently, is dedicated to excellence, and is incredibly inventive. He has also magnificently taken on a leadership role in robotics club. Most presidents lead. Forrest has created and took on the task of education and growth for our members. Whether it's lessons on design, programming, or just something cool, Forrest has redesigned the meaning of president 
and has set a new, very high bar. During distance learning, Forrest has, of his own initiative, kept the robotics club together, designing lessons and activities for anyone interested. Congratulations, Forrest. We're all better to have known you and look forward to your future exploits. Hello, this is Mr. Hill in the English department. And our student for the outstanding achievement in English is Olivia Steele. And I wanted to share with you a little bit about why. Olivia has been a pleasure in my class this year and Ms. Kaufman's class and AP Literature and Composition. She showed true depth of knowledge when it comes to um, discussions, often participating and both leading discussions as well. And her writing has shown real key important insights into the text that weren't previously made clear in class. So she has gone above and beyond as far as her writing style is concerned. Um, she has a student, she's a student that has taken honors English for English 9 and English 10 and AP for 11th and 12th grade. So she's really pushed herself to um, excel and um, take classes that are challenging for her. I've also come to know her outside of the classroom and she has shown that her Eng interest in English also um, exists for her as an extracurricular hobby, choosing, choosing to lead the Shakespeare Club um, as well. So Olivia, congratulations, and we really appreciate your, your dedication to English and your pursuit of knowledge and your critical thinking and your questioning of the world around you and not just accepting things as they are, but choosing to question them and both to change them. So thank you again, Olivia, for being our outstanding um, student in regards to achievement in English. I wanted to also share with you the students we've chosen who have demonstrated excellence in English. It was a hard decision, well fought by all members of our department. And we could not decide. We debated around and around. And eventually, we had to pick several. So we went with the option of picking several from the AP classes, as well as some from Mr. Hopkins' contemporary ed classes. For the AP classes, I have the honor of telling you about these students. I wanted to recognize Megan Huber, Forrest Onkhauser, and Theodora Oldfield. And my class this year, and AP Literature and Composition, each of these students um, engaged in the class wholeheartedly, came to class every day well prepared, wrote at an elevated level and really questioned and brought new and interesting insights to the text that I was not expecting, um, as well as um, were leaders among their peers, often leading the group work or leading the discussion that we had as a whole class. They were real treasures to have in the room and I really appreciate their hard work and dedication. So congratulations to Theodora Oldfield, Forrest, and Megan Huber. Thank you again for everything you've done in English. And I hope you enjoy your excellence in English award. Thank you. Ms. Denhart, thank you and I'm proud of you for your hard work and good humor as an Inspire English Scholar. Congratulations. Ms. Sando, thank you for your deep interest in writers and writing and in words. Congratulations for your designation as an Inspire English Scholar. This year, I'm giving out two Outstanding Achievement in Instrumental Music Awards. The first one goes to Caitlin Commandant. Caitlin is an excellent student, a humble musician, and an all-around great person. Caitlin began in orchestra her freshman year, playing the first parts for the majority of the time. She's also played in many small ensembles. She's taken private lessons, and for the last year, she's served as concertmaster, which is the primary leadership role in the orchestra. 
She's also served as the ASB Orchestra Secretary. Caitlin recognizes areas that she might need to work on and is open to instruction, which is usually followed by the personal practice demonstrating the, humil the humility and hard work that's required of an excellent musician. She seeks out help when she needs it to accomplish both her role as well as to become a better musician as she goes. For her musicianship and overall contribution to the Instrumental Music Program at Inspire, Caitlin has earned the Outstanding Achievement in Instrumental Music Award. Congratulations, Caitlin. The second person is Galen Fairchild. Galen came to Inspire and took off as one of the leaders in the violin section pretty much from the beginning. His musical confidence and skill have helped others and made our orchestra and string ensemble stronger and of higher quality. This year, he took a music practicum or an independent study to practice violin and learn a solo for our spring concert, which was coming along beautifully. Unfortunately, our concert was canceled. Galen also participated in pop band for a number of years, playing guitar, being the lead singer, and often the leader of his band. His skill as a guitar player grew dramatically throughout the years, and he has been at Inspire. Galen always was ready to jump in and perform at Day in the Purple, Spring Standout, other concerts, rallies, whatever the case may be. For his musicianship and overall contribution to the instrumental music program at Inspire, Galen has been awarded the Outstanding Achievement in Instrumental Music. Congratulations, Galen. I'm also giving out two Excellence in Instrumental Music Awards this year to Megan Huber and Lexi Eklund. Megan showed her excellence as a musician from the very beginning, playing one of the most difficult instruments for a young player, the oboe. She also plays clarinet and tenor saxophone, tenor in the jazz band. She demonstrated her leadership and skill throughout her time in orchestra by assisting other students, as well as achieving a high level of performance. Megan is an excellent musician, and those around her become better because of her. And for Lexi, Lexi is cheerful, positive, and very confident. From day one in the orchestra, she has been a strong musician and a leader, always willing to help me and to help her peers. Lexi developed a strong knowledge of music theory, particularly in the last year, and has been a student director for several groups at Inspire. Congratulations to Megan and Lexi. I'm giving an outstanding achievement in recording arts to Nelson Green. Nelson has done an outstanding job, especially in the past two years in the area of recording arts and live audio for Inspire. He applied himself to all the work in school and reached way beyond what was just done in classes, learning from audio, digital mixing consoles, software, mixing techniques, and so much more. Nelson has been a huge help this past year, especially when it comes to live events like Day in the Purple, rallies, and other events. His understanding of the equipment and troubleshooting ability put me at ease and allowed me to enjoy events much more because I knew he was had the audio in hand. Nelson has also reached into the community where he has been hired to run audio for California Regional Theater. And Nelson is kind, generous, helpful, and very positive. His hard work, skill, and interest in recording arts are what make him a positive example and has earned him the outstanding achievement in recording arts. Congratulations, Nelson. Then I'm also going to give an Excellence in Recording Arts Award to Cooper Alexander. Cooper is receiving this award because he is generous, he's kind, he has a leader with his peers, and because he makes a major contribution to the Recording Arts program here. Cooper was always ready to set up, to help strike, and even to carry equipment just because it needed to be carried and someone needed to do it. Cooper was one of my best TAs that I've ever had as well. Congratulations to Cooper for the Excellence in Recording Arts Award. Hello! This, these are your science teachers, or at least two of them. Hello. I'm Mrs. Olson. I'm Mr. Peak. And we are here to present the Excellence and Outstanding Award. So I'm going to start with Excellence. Um, a student who receives excellence in science is one that goes above and beyond in their science classes. They are truly engaged in the curriculum for the sake of knowledge and understanding of the world around them. These students are often leaders in our science and engineering clubs and deserve recognition for the time and effort that they put in to promote science and sustainability at our school. It is my pleasure to award the following students with excellence for science. If you could please come up to the stage that is not here. Forrest Frankhauser. 
Yay! Good morning! Heather Hardy! Woo! Stage left! Jay Shristrad! We love you, Jay! Uh, uh, Billings Ash Alston! And Karen Taylor! You're amazing! All right. And I will be presenting uh, uh, the student that's earning the Outstanding in Science Award. This student is nothing short of extraordinary. It is reserved for the student that has a genuine appreciation for the beauty and wonder of science. For the student that understands science as both a body of knowledge and a process that is inherently a way of thinking and knowing about the world. It's rever uh, reserved, excuse me, for the skeptical student. The term, term skeptic comes from the Greek for skepsis, meaning examination, inquiry, and consideration. The motto of the oldest science institution, the Royal Society of London, is after all, nullis in verba, Latin for on the word of no one. One being the very specific word there. The award, award excuse me, is uh, for the student that understands the distinction between questions that can be answered by the scientific process and those that must be explored by different means like philosophy, religion, and other ways of thinking. It's for the student that is creative and a careful consumer of scientific information in their approach to how they seek the truth. One that understands science not as an individual exercise, rather as a collaboration within a global community of individuals and organizations contributing in various ways. For the student with the insatiable desire to continue to learn and communicate what they've learned in an effort to inform others. A student that extends themselves beyond their academic classes as an officer in clubs and after school programs. The science department at Inspire recognizes, wait for it, Megan Huber as this student. <gasps> you are amazing! We are humbled, truly, Megan, by your ability and unwavering kindness and joyful energy. Megan did an outstanding job at her lab tech position where she worked hard at setting up and breaking down labs, inventorying, and basically anything else that Mr. Gunderson, Ms. Olson, and myself needed from her. Megan was president of our Science Ambassadors and Society for Women Engineers Club, at, uh, as well as the officer or many officer roles in Environmental Club. Megan was instrumental in all facets of both clubs, but especially with getting our precious plastic project up and running and maintaining its momentum, as well as organizing and facilitating Imagineer Day. Um, and that's just two things of many, many things that Megan uh, was instrumental in accomplishing, helping us to accomplish. We, as a science department, are honored to recognize you, Megan, you, Megan, with the Outstanding Science Award. Thank you. Congrats to all of our seniors, your favorite social science teachers. Love you and we're so proud of you. Our first award is for outstanding achievement. Olivia Steele embodies outstanding achievement in the social science field. Throughout world history, AP US history, economics, and American government, she has consistently demonstrated a keen interest in mastering the content. Throughout her three years in all of our classes, Olivia has always shown courage, conviction, and curiosity in her learning. Olivia, your three social science teachers all appreciate your positive attitude and contributions to our classrooms. You are remarkable in your maturity and ability to understand both sides of an issue. We admire how you understand the importance of being an informed participant in the American democratic process. Olivia knows how to ask why and our community benefits with your desire to be an articulate, socially conscious young adult. Olivia distinguished herself for her, her historical research for almost every single Inspire production, um, including our town, Romeo and Juliet, Adam's family, Clue in Oklahoma. Uh, Olivia might be most famous, however, for acquiring 1933 dimes 
for 42nd Street, we're in the money. Congratulations to Olivia. We wish you the best um, as you study theater arts at CSU Long Beach next year. And our next award from our department is for excellence, and it is going to go to Megan Huber. Uh, Megan seems to excel in all she does. She's exemplified excellence in social science uh, throughout her time here at Inspire and has always worked above and beyond teacher expectations. We think Megan is a true Renaissance woman um, in the humanities, arts, and sciences. We know this because she wears her philosopher hat daily. <laughs> Last year, Megan attended our Sojourn to the Past journey to the Deep South to learn about civil rights, civic education, and she connected with leaders who are just like her. People who are passionate about improving humanity. Megan is the person you want on your team. She's dedicated, she's hardworking, she always strives for excellence and knows how to get things done. Congrats. Megan, on your acceptance to UC Davis and your eventual future in mechanical engineering or bioengineering, even though we all agree, we think you should major in history. Congrats. All right, our next award for excellence goes to Anna Cummins. Anna has worked well beyond all of our expectations in world history and US history. Her desire to be an exchange student accelerated her junior year to include a full load of core classes, including government and economics online, essentially accomplishing two years of college prep classes in one. Anna is a hard worker, articulate, and always in the know. And we think she falls asleep to NPR at night. Um, Anna has turned into one of our best oral presenters of all time. Um, she is one of the most diligent students we've ever seen, um, completing an 85 page student review, or so we've heard, uh, a review <laughs> by for A push. Anna is graduating early as she has received a Rotary International Scholarship to study overseas in southern France next year. We are all rooting for you, Anna, um, to have the most awesome study abroad year ever. And we wish you a bon voyage in all your future endeavors. <laughs> Congratulations, you guys. Congrats. Congratulations. <laughs> Hello, welcome and greetings to all. My name is Antonio Isern and I was the leadership teacher at Inspire from the fall of 2011 to the spring of 2019 and therefore had the opportunity and pleasure to work with this year's leadership award recipients for the previous three years. And my name is Brittany Hawkins and I started teaching leadership at Inspire this year. And I am very grateful that these students accepted me and adapted to my leadership with a welcoming smile. Just minutes into meeting these students, I could see what a great leadership team they were, what a strong bond they had between each other, and what incredible humans they are. As the year went on, these students planned, implemented, and executed beautifully timed, coordinated, and largely attended events and activities. This year, the Excellence Award in Leadership is awarded to Ariana Powell and Lana Hadid. Congratulations, Ariana and Lana. You have demonstrated time and again your excellence in leadership. This award means more than a piece of paper. This award proves you have a skill set that can be taken with you wherever you lead in life, where I know you will continue to excel. Ariana and Lana. Thank you both for the hard work, the dedication and soul that you've put into leadership. Ariana, four years for you. That's a big commitment. Lana, three years for you. Thank you for bringing to inspire new and exciting traditions such as pumpkin carving, tie-dye days, Easter egg hunts, just to name a few. You've been an essential part 
to the continuous development of our leadership class and our school culture. Know that anywhere you go in your near and distant future, you will have a positive and meaningful impact. We will greatly miss you and wish you the best. And now for the outstanding award in leadership, it goes to Jay Shrestha. Jay, it has been a pleasure having you in leadership your sophomore and junior year. You have been without a doubt one of the top ASB presidents we've had at Inspire within the past 10 years. Your productivity, excuse me, you've brought to the class a unique quality of unity as you're able to connect the class on many levels from high productivity work and positive social interaction to effective collaboration and communication. Your genuine, honest, kind, and task-oriented style of leadership models an environment where students sincerely care for the well-being of our campus and our school culture. Your ability to manage leadership class has been inspiring to future leaders of INSPIRE. Your presence and participation in class are unique because they consistently raise the level of interaction of all of your peers in class, as well as the teacher. I know that from experience with working with you. Um, so therefore, um, you're regularly causing others to critically think, to problem solve, and become more engaged and dedicated in any given task or project. Inspire is grateful to have had you. You are an inspiration of leadership to us all. Thank you and congratulations, Jay. Wow. This award is reserved for someone who exudes leadership in and out of the classroom, who demonstrates virtue and shines brightly throughout. Jay, you have demonstrated such incredible mindfulness and care when communicating. You are so hardworking, focused, and understanding human being. I have been so impressed with how virtuous you are, how kind, inclusive, humble, focused, dedicated, and joyful you are. It is our great honor to award you the most outstanding leader on the Inspired Campus. We are so honored to be able to have worked with all of you. So you guys, congratulations and may your leadership spirit live in you forever we love you congratulations bye you guys uh greetings uh inspire community we are the uh math team i'm uh, daniel marcy daniel reynolds and i'm alan kaufman um so we are going to be uh giving awards for math um and so this is the Senior Awards for Math Excellence. As young children, most of us can recount tales of daring explorers traveling to lands unknown. Uh, we looked up at them and longed to join them in their quests. The term explorer is defined as an individual who ventures into the unfamiliar in order to learn. An explorer is unafraid to make mistakes, has a willingness to ask questions, and strives to lead by example. At INSPIRE, we call these explorers math students. While the journey may at times be a struggle, they push on, not because it is expected of them, but because it is their desire. For the past four years, we've witnessed some most excellent math adventurers in our classrooms. And at this time, we'd like to congratulate them with INSPIRE's Math Excellence Award. Congratulations to Michaela Billings Alston, Caitlin Commandant, Lexi Eklund, Mason Felix, Heather Hardy, Megan Huber, Jay Shrestha, Olivia Steele, Taryn Taylor, and Joey Vasquez. Congratulations, you guys, we're very proud of you. Congrats. Um, moving on to our Outstanding in Mathematics Award. This year we have done something unusual and strange for Outstanding in Math, and it was not easy. I'm going to share something while we read to you about this unique person that we're giving the award to.
Not only do we have several seniors that have shown to be outstanding mathematicians in our classes, this student has also only taken one math class at Inspire. As an eighth grader, the student toured our school with their fellow incoming students. And when they saw a pre-calculus class being taught by Mrs. Raymond, they said, I want to learn that. Shortly after that, I sat across from this very inquisitive young person and listened to their request to take pre-calculus as a freshman. As this is something that had not been done before at Inspire, I strongly encourage and recommended that the student take integrated math three instead, which they did, and it was a big mistake on my part because they were bored the entire year and basically taught themselves pre-calculus anyway uh, that year and became even more of an expert in Desmos. Despite being absolutely bored by my math three class, this young man was still kind and engaged. He offered perspective and explanations regularly and worked incredibly well with his peers. Since then, Mr. Fonkhauser has progressed in mathematics by taking college courses that include all three semesters of calculus and differential equations. He has also continued to contribute to the culture of our mathematics department by popping in regularly to chat calculus or show us whatever crazy and amazing thing he has been creating or exploring on Desmos. Forrest, I often say to my math students that someday they will be smarter than me, just not yet. For you, sir, I think that day was a long time ago. It's been a pleasure to have you at our school. I can't wait to attend your ceremony of getting the Fields Medal in Math someday. Congratulations, Forrest, we're very proud. Congratulations. Congratulations, Forrest. Okay, that's it for the math department. We're done. Woo! Let's get out of here. Yeah! <laughs> the Excellence in Musical Theater Award goes to four people who have grown and accomplished a great deal as musical theater students. Taryn Taylor, Hope Kozielski, Lexi Eklund, and Serena Kuhn. These young women have set a high standard for themselves as singers, actors, and dancers. They are the three key skills that are necessary to a musical theater performer. They have consistently worked hard, been a positive influence on their peers, and given excellent performances, both in class and in our musical theater productions. They have cultivated their strengths and pressed into their challenges in ways that have been valuable to their own growth, as well as in the growth and success of the musical theater at Inspire. In addition, they have been actively involved in the behind the scenes work that is so necessary to the success of a production of any kind. Taryn, Lexi, Hope, and Serena, you have each worked hard to accomplish your personal best as performers and contributors to musical theater at Inspire. I am honored to present each of you with this award. The most outstanding in musical theater award this year goes to Luciano Castaldo. If you put Lucci on a color scale with each color designating an area of passion and talent, he would show up as a rainbow. He has many talents in the various areas of musical theater, but talent alone does not produce excellence. The qualities that make his work outstanding start with an understanding of the importance of study and practice. I have watched him do the in-depth work that sets him apart. He has established a valuable foundation to build upon as he pursues his goals and his dreams in musical theater. In addition to his work at Inspire, he represented us well as the outstanding actor chosen by the Rita Moreno California High School Musical Honors, where he went with students from all around the nation to the National High School Musical Theater Awards, better known as the Jimmy Awards, in New York City just a year ago. But there is another most important part of this outstanding equation, and that is what comes from a person's heart. Luciano has a genuine love for people, and he has the ability to put loving and leading together in ways that bring out the best in those he works with. He has contributed much to our class and school musical theater performances through his singing, acting, and dancing, as well as his choreography and his teaching, his set designs, and his vision. It's been a privilege to work with you over these last four years, Luciano. You have gone from singing alto to baritone with tenor highlights. You have invested yourself well and set the stage for where you are going 
and I'm very excited to see you experience all that is out there waiting for you. Good evening. The World Language Department would like to highlight our award recipients in terms of what many of our students will likely recognize as the three P's of culture, products, practices, and perspectives. So products are what they produce in terms of their proficiency level in communication and the quality of their work. Practices are how they interact with the language and other speakers. And perspectives are how they value language learning experiences and the peoples of the target language they study. Muy bien, señora Reed. And now uh, to award uh, our Spanish um, Outstanding and Excellence Awards, um, I would like to um, give, or Senora Reed or Madame Reed and I would like to uh, give the Outstanding Achievement Award in Spanish goes to Forrest uh, Fankhauser, AKA Bosque. Uh, I've had the uh, pleasure of uh, having Forrest this past year in AP Spanish and Madame Reed has had the- uh, I've had pleasure. the pleasure of having him in Spanish one, two, and three. So when it comes to Forrest and we talk about products, um, you know, when it comes to products, we can all agree that high quality materials or ingredients provide high end products. And this is exactly the case when it comes to Forest in Spanish. In Spanish class, Forest has always used high quality materials, such as his dedication and his drive and his intrinsic motivation to learn, just to name a few of those. And therefore, he has always delivered exceptional products. So whether it was an oral presentation of mofongo, a typical Costa Rican dish, or a research project about Puerto Rican mathematician Ana Elvia Quintero, or a class discussion about the impact and repercussions of the Spanish Civil War under the dictatorship of Francisco Franco, Forrest's work is always top notch. Quality products composed of high level research, sophisticated structures and expanded vocabulary. When it comes to practices, Forrest finds true authentic joy in learning about the Spanish culture and using the Spanish language. This is evident by the way in which he consistently uses Spanish in and out of the classroom, in emails, phone conversations, with peers, or in Zoom class meetings during the time of distance learning. Forrest goes far and beyond what it is asked of him consistently, challenging himself to learn new expressions and ways to communicate his point of view, emotions, and perspectives in order to engage in deep and meaningful discussions with his peers and teachers in a variety of global topics covered throughout the year. Forrest is a high quality collaborator, always searching for questions and answers in order to improve his knowledge about the Spanish culture and language. Perspectives. Forrest is a highly appreciative human being who understands and deeply values the global goodness that comes with learning about other cultures and languages, aside from his own. It is no wonder he has expressed the want to travel to another country in order to experience and interact with other cultures and natives of other than his own. Because of this, Forrest is an asset to our community and future. Forrest, o mejor dicho, Bosque, lograrás lo que desees. Y estés donde estés, tu impacto en este mundo será siempre unitivo y positivo. Suerte, amigo. Lastly, Senora Reed or Madame Reed and I would also like to recognize Jay Shrestha and Donica Leeds for excellence in Spanish. Thank you both for your continuous dedication to the Spanish culture and language. Thank you for your quality of work, commitment to using the target language day in and day out, and for the risks you have taken along the way to better both your cultural knowledge and mastery of the language. Catalina y J. Habéis sido una parte integral del programa de lenguas en Inspire. Suerte en vuestro futuro. Excelente. And now for um, the outstanding student in French, I would like to honor Megan Huber. So again, talking about our three Ps, terms of products, 
Megan always produces the highest quality work in French, from oral presentations on Edith Piaf and French politics, to written analyses of quotes from Le Petit Prince and the composition of a children's book, even to the singing of French pop songs and classics with her impeccable accent. Practices. Megan pushes herself to maintain the target language in day-to-day -day interactions and messages, whether we were in class, passing each other across campus, or in weekly Zoom meetings and emails in the last two months. She supports her peers and perseveres through complex ideas, creatively composing language, and seeking to be understood as well as to understand others. Perspectives. Megan cherishes her ability to communicate in a second language and is inquisitive about other cultures as well as her own heritage. She humbly recognizes the role we each play in forming a kinder global community through the connection with those different from us. And she's a leader on this front. Megan, tu seras pour moi, pour nous, unique au monde. Quote from Petit Prince. And I would also like to recognize, for excellence in French, Natalie O'Neill. Tilly, thank you for your dedication to your studies and your passion for the language and culture. Très bien fait et bonne chance en France. Thank you. So, congratulations to you seniors on your graduation and um, yeah, enjoy. Adios. Hi everyone, my name is Erin Horst and I'm so excited to join you um, wherever you're at tonight during this uh, special time of celebration for our seniors and um, doing it in a way we didn't imagine. So I just am so excited to honor the awards and the folks winning awards for theater performance this year. Um, I have a really long list for excellence and for honorees for outstanding um, awards in theater performance. And we just had an incredible year. We kicked it off with international travel, some of us, performing at the Festival Fringe in Scotland, and then wrapping up our year with Clue in Oklahoma. And so we've just had an amazing, amazing year. And uh, without further ado, let's get to the awards. So um, the awards for excellence in theater performance are... Mac Butler, Luciano Castaldo, Emma Dinecochea, Kylie Denhart, Lexi Eklund, Mason Felix, Gwen Henson, Serena Kewen, Violet Little, Liam Morgan Nolan, Jasmine Neal, Thea Oldfield, Julian Weiss, Tyler Reynolds, Blue Strong, and Andy Thompson. Now on to the award winners for Outstanding in Theater Performance. They are Ava Hilsey, Sam Lucas, Rhea Massey, and Olivia Steele. All four have just been incredible leaders and performers since their freshman year to now. Um, Ava Hilsey has been just involved in both plays and musicals and classes and just delivered strong performances every single time. Her work ethic has really demonstrated to others in the department um, the highest of expectations. Sam has, uh, likewise been super involved since her freshman year and has just been a powerhouse when it comes to character development and performance and um, in particular really latching on to the voice work that uh, we've done in class. Um, Sam was also the president of the theater club this year. Uh, Rhea Massey has grown so much since her freshman year and just by the time she has graduated now ha is become one of the top actors at Inspire and just really strong performer, good work ethic, positive attitude, works incredibly hard. And then finally, Olivia Steele. And I think if you asked Olivia to do anything in theater, she could do it. Um, Olivia has this keen sense for comedy. She's very witty and uh, is just a delight to watch on the stage. So those four folks and all the award winners in excellence, please stay in touch. Congratulations and wishing you nothing but the best. And now the awards for technical theater. For excellence in technical theater, Mac Butler. Mac found passion and jumped in helping assistant direct Clue 
and operate sound for Oklahoma this year. She became a valued member of production team and she did stellar in all of her technical theater classes. Liam Morgan Nolan. Liam wins the award for making my eyes roll the most often. But the truth is he was a huge part of our technical team. He was great on front of house he would be happy to leave backstage and jump on stage in any pinch. He's survived some crazy events and he keeps trooping through all of it. Liam loves geography, the national anthem of any country, and he is our tea drinking techie. Colin Philippi, if you need your hair to look perfect for any show, Colin is your man. He was organized, passionate, and creative and made it sure everyone had their hair exactly where it needed to be for every production. Juno Pfluger, willing to do all the hard work from building to painting, to moving all those sets, the furniture items, getting it from here to there. Juno always followed through, kept us all safe and had a good time in the process. Olivia Steele, if you wanted something to be historically accurate or painted so perfectly that you would think it was a photograph, our scenic artist, Olivia Steele, was the woman. She made every show she worked on even better than someone could imagine. Taryn Taylor, whether it be props, a parade, or stage management, Taryn would say, sure, why not? What you don't know about Taryn is she would usually do it better than most people had ever done it before. She did not have a huge background in technical theater, but she became one of our best. You are so good. My favorite moment was our Clue rehearsal, the very first Clue rehearsal, when she texted me and said, how do I write down blocking? Lexi Eklund, new ticketing system, costume designer, organizing, wrangling anyone and getting them to do whatever we needed to get done. Lexi would do it all. She did it with a smile and a bit of perfection and made sure the job was done. And now for the awards for Outstanding Achievement in Technical Theater. 42, I will always remember this age because of this quirky group of kids who changed my life forever. If you didn't already know, twilight is my favorite time of night. I've gotten to watch a lot of sunsets lately, and I realize the reason I love that time of night is because the lighting makes you feel like you're in Earth's, Earth's theater. It feels electric. It is like that moment when you see the stage manager look down at their watch because they're about to call places on opening night. I have seen these students live through so much life and create incredible art in the process. I have thought of each of these students every day since the closing of Oklahoma. And I know that will begin to fade, but for now, I would like to celebrate the memories and the magic that you have created together on the Inspire stages over the last four years. First, we have Kayla Wright. You mustn't be afraid to sparkle a little brighter, darling. This is Kristen Kuhn. If any of you even had an inkling of what this young lady has had to persevere, you would be floored. Kayla is a technical theater major and was stage manager for Oklahoma. She ran all our sound and music clue, cues for Clue, and she served as co-president of our Inspire production team. She is a great sorter, a quick changer, she can organize anything that needs to be organized. She has a firm belief in labeling. She remembers everyone, and she also reminds everyone that living is as important as working, and it can't all just be work. Kayla is very good with children, which has served her well. When she texts with guest groups like the dance company or our local community theaters, she excels. During Adam's family, my daughter Ashlyn was even deemed the AASM. Kayla is an expert at making a hard situation enjoyable. With Dutch Bros in her blood, 
a well thought out outfit, and a perfectly styled messy hairdo, Kayla became a pro techie and an integral part of our team. Luciano Castaldo. Well, maybe it started that way, as a dream. But doesn't everything, those buildings, these lights, this whole city, somebody had to dream about it first. And maybe that is what I did. I dreamed about coming here, but then I did it. James and the Giant Peach. Luciano will forever be part of Inspire Lore, our official production team mascot. I have infinite entertaining stories. Gucci gay dad, Kayla's sparkling cider car incident, the tutu tower, perching to read the perch, late night ponderings, random design epiphanies, actual heart to heart text, when a hug means more than words, and a look can speak a novel about what needs to get done on a production. But the real question is, balloons. Where are the balloons? As you can see, Luciano made our life incredibly entertaining over the last four years. He is a student that I love to collaborate with and was inspired by daily. Luciano was talented when he came to us, but through all four years, he was one of the hardest workers I have ever seen. He came in knowing what he wanted to do, double major in musical theater and technical theater, and he did just that. He worked endlessly from his first assignment in Performing Arts Foundation to his last theater design presentation. I don't think he ever missed a single assignment that I can remember. <laughs> Each project, he brought new ideas, imagination, and thoughtfulness about creating a memorable and magic moment on stage. Luciano has designed our last three musicals sets, can scenic paint like a pro, and he thinks through the use and value of every stage de direction, decoration, and prop. He can also render a perfect costume design for any show's concept. All I can say back is a simple reply. Thank you. Hope Kajelski. Design can be art. Design can be aesthetic. Design is so simple. That is why it is so complicated. Paul Rand. A singer, a dancer, an actress, an artist, a designer, a manager, and a techie. Because she is so good on stage, she is even better off stage. Hope has the ability to put herself in anyone's shoes and design with that in mind. Hope does her research and then creatively blends and bends to each concept to make what she pictures in her head come alive. Hope thought she needed to be the stage manager for the musical this year, but it was the best thing I have ever talked her out of. That is not an easy thing to do if you know Hope. She has learned from her mom, who happens to be a lawyer. Now, don't get me wrong, Hope would have been a stellar stage manager. But because she did not, we were all able to see her artistry on stage. Hope designed an incredible period costume design for her Clue, along with creative lights and a masterful poster. We also got to enjoy her lighting ideas for Oklahoma and her onstage antics as Ado Annie. I am pretty sure Hope has worked on and performed in every production, show, concert since coming to Inspire. Her originality, drive, and friendship will be missed. She was our co-president for Inspire's production team, and she led us to incredible feats of theater magic over the last four years. The Excellence in Vocal Music Award has been earned by John Hughes, Tyler Reynolds, and Aaron Cagle. These students have shown a high level of commitment to the vocal music program at Inspire. John and Aaron have both been in vocal techniques and a cappella choir all four years, and Tyler joined us as a junior, adding much to our tenor section and to the overall program. John has also been influential in the growth and development of the gents this year as a student leader. 
All three have brought significant value to the choir through their active enthusiasm, creative ideas, leadership, and encouragement of younger singers and group members. Their contributions and accomplishments are notable, and it is with admiration and gratitude that I present each of you with this award. The Most Outstanding Vocal Music Award goes to Lexi Eklund. One of my favorite things about teaching high school students is how much they grow, mature, gain confidence, learn skills, and discover the wonder of who they are as they go from being 14 to 18. At the beginning of Lexi's junior year, I knew there was something inside her that was ready to come out. So I asked her to sing in the first day's student concert in the park. Well, she knocked it out of the park. And ever since that day, she has been learning more and more to believe in herself and has been finding all kinds of ways to explore the possibilities of her voice and who she is as a singer and an all-around musician. She has been developing her abilities in musical theater with notable accomplishments, but has found her heart in classical music and a love of opera. Lexi has also been the student leader this year of One Voice and Weeby Major. She has the ability to motivate and guide and care for her peers as their leader. Lexi has been a delight to work with. I am so proud of you and of all you have accomplished and I'm very excited to watch you step into all the possibilities that are ahead. And now I would like to present on behalf of our entire performing arts department, the outstanding achievement in performing arts. Art doesn't give rise to anything in us that isn't already there. It simply stirs up our curious consciousness and sparks a fire that illuminates who we have always wanted to be. Kamand Kajori, Lexi Eklund. Lexi is a perfect example of Inspire's performing arts student. Lexi is both a vocal and instrumental music major and continually develops and sharpens her skills through leadership, citizenship, and relationships with other students, her peers, teachers, family, and community. Lexi is involved with all things performing arts at Inspire. She is a member of the Inspire Dance Company, the Inspire Orchestra, the Inspire Choir, and has studied in many other areas. She loves math and works after school with the youth at California Regional Theater. Lexi leads the small vocal groups of One Voice and We Be Major, who are featured throughout the year for Inspire. Lexi is a valued member of our Inspire production team and has had a featured role both on and off stage throughout her four years at Inspire. Lexi takes advantage of all Inspire has to offer. She sharpens and shares her passion with others each and every day. You will always be remembered as our Lori, a strong, independent young woman who knows how to get up, get out there and get what she wants. The Essence of Inspire Award recognizes a student who we as a staff and faculty feel exemplifies Inspire's core values, a passion for learning, support for others, selfless contributions to school and community, creativity and innovation, excellence in all they do, all while maintaining a fun-loving and joyous spirit. This year's awardee from the distinguished class of 2020 excelled in a variety of music and theater pursuits. She has served in such challenging roles as stage manager and props manager, and she performed in Oklahoma. She was also a prolific dancer, singer, and plays in the school orchestra. And in her final semester with Inspire, added a ceramics class to her talents. The class of 2020 Essence of Inspire awardee is Taryn Taylor. Congratulations, Taryn. You are among a distinguished group of Inspire grads and are leaving behind a legacy to which all future grads will aspire. On behalf of the Inspire staff and faculty, I'd like to extend our congratulations to all scholarship recipients of the class of 2020. Thank you to Mr. Marcus Hopkins for organizing this special awards program. And thank you also to Mr. Aaron Hall, Avery Munson-Clark, and Nicole Patton 
for their hard work in making this video possible for all the Inspire community to enjoy.